Hi guys, it's Jean here. Welcome to my channel. So it's been a while since I did my first part of decluttering. Um, I've been following the Marie Kondo um, book. This is the life-changing magic of tidying. Uh, it's been a while. I think it's almost been like a few months now. So I thought it's time to do a part two, which is my accessories. So I'm still literally like pretty much on the first step. Um, I did my clothes last time, so I'll leave a link down below. But now I'm going to move on and do accessories. Um, I've been I've been waiting, meaning to do this earlier, but I wanted to, I guess, have time to actually go through it rather than speeding through it. Otherwise, I'll feel like I'll be hoarding a lot more and buying new stuff anyway. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, I pretty much went through my whole house and searched for every little accessory like bags, shoes, hats, um, socks, like all those little clothing accessories and just pile it all um, in this area here. So I want to give you a quick rundown of what I've got so far. So this is the before of all my accessories. Um, this is all the ones that I could find in the house. So I've got all my bags up there and these are all my shoes. And here is stuff I took out from the wardrobe. So I've already kind of categorized these in like underwear, socks, scarves, hats, belts, um, swimsuits and jewelry at the back as well. So it doesn't, I'm not sure whether, I don't know, do you think that this is a lot? I think this is a lot considering majority, like I probably only wear the same like three or four pairs of shoes all the time and the bags as well. Um, honestly, like yeah, I probably only wear a few stuff. So for me, accessories is like a big thing. I love, love, love accessories. Um, I think for me, because I always kind of struggled with my weight, um, clothing wasn't a thing, but I felt less self-conscious, I guess, when it came to accessories, because it's pretty much all fits, like, you know, it fits everyone and suits everyone. Shoes, I guess, like, you know, they're still your shoes, like, you can still get your shoe size, but a lot of times, you know, you can still wear, and bags, bags go with every girl out there or boy, so that's why I collected a lot of stuff in the past, um, but now I think as I'm getting older, I think my value of things um i prioritize it and it's not so much a thing for me anymore like i realize i go to the same go-to accessories um so i originally thought that the reason why i kind of kept this dragging because i thought you know i'll need more time because i'm more attached to accessories than i am clothes but now that i think about it because my priorities have kind of changed i think it may actually be a lot easier um i guess for me is just really the aftermarket cleaning what to do with it because some of these stuff um, I've already, I guess, put a pile, I put it aside to sell, which I haven't actually gotten around doing. So um, I guess that's on my do to, like to do list once I've done with this book. Um, but yeah, so these are the stuff that I've got. Um, it's currently morning at the moment, so I'm just gonna spend the day, I guess, going through it, sorting out into things I want to keep, things I'm not sure about, and things like you know I might give it another you know, a week to decide and things that I am going to donate and sell. So let's go. Okay, so I just went through all my shoes and these are the ones that I'm going to keep. Um, I think I probably got rid of about half of it. So um, I think that's a pretty good job. Um, but these, this one is the pile of shoes that I'm planning to sell. Um, if not, then I guess donate. These are the ones that I am going to um, get rid of because they're slightly worn out. But yeah, so I've noticed clearing out, like I've gotten a lot of heels um, I just don't really wear high heels anymore, so I've kept these. Um, there's, you've noticed that I wear a lot of black shoes. There are some, like for example, the sandals. I'm not sure whether I'll wear them because it's kind of winter right now um, and kind of cold. So come again summer, I might think about these ones. Um, but I've got a whole lot of, I guess, sneakers that I wear nowadays. A couple of flats I wear to, uh, to work and also some heels at the back. So I've kept pretty much all the ones that I recently bought. 
because they're mostly um, lower heels. This pair here is probably one of my comfortablest heel, like the heels, and I've got my um, Bali heels as well. So they're the ones that I generally wear. Uh, I've got a lot of loafers um, that I wear normally, so they're all pretty much new as well. And I've got a couple of pairs like that one, which I don't really wear often, but it still looks really nice on. So it comes spring, summer, if there's any formal events, and I usually like to pull that out as well. And all these heels, so these um air maxes so i actually wear the black one if anything more than these ones but i couldn't decide which one i wanted because these pair are like the original air max shoes i think i'm not sure whether this is the 2009 or 2012 um edition but anyway so i thought i'll keep both of it because i still like it make quite a bit of history to it um these two i'm not 100 percent sure of i bought these because i wanted a pair of white but then i haven't actually i've worn it once because it's so white i find it hard wearing i have to check the weather i don't want to get it dirty and these i don't wear much because i've got the converse um shoes as well so I think I'm going to try and see if I'll wear these out this spring and summer. If I don't, then I'll donate these or sell them. Um, but yeah, these are all of the shoes I have left. So I still think that that's quite a lot of shoes, in my opinion. Um, I would like to, I guess, kind of reduce it even more because I know some of these shoes I don't wear all the time or I wear seasonally. But um, I, I guess, you know, it's a pretty good effort considering I was the biggest shoe hoarder. Um, I'll show you the, some of my outstanding pieces that I am giving away. I got here a pile of stuff that I'm going to throw out and um, try and sell. Mm. Uh, I just want to give it a bit of a moment to appreciate it because I'm a very sentimental person. A lot of things have meaning for me. Um, I guess one of the biggest things that... Um, Saddest things I want to, I am going to sell are my Louboutins. So I mentioned these in my luxury tag video that um, it's, I wouldn't say it was necessarily a worst um, luxury purchase, but at the time it was good. But now, unfortunately, I don't actually fit these. They're a bit tight, um, a bit small. So I am going to sell my Louboutins. Um, it's really sad because I still absolutely love them. If they were my size, if they fit, then I'll definitely keep them. Um, I have also got these fixed and everything as well, but I just don't fit it and I haven't worn it since. So, um, I am going to part with this and let it go. Um, a lot, I've noticed as well, I've got, I had a lot of high heels back when I was in my early twenties. I went out clubbing a lot and I think back then if the shoes were on a sale, it was cheap and they were high, I would get it because you know you don't want to go clubbing and wear the same thing all the time so I had plenty of heels but slowly as I got older I kind of stopped going clubbing I stopped wearing them and now I can barely stand in them as well so that's why I'm getting rid of it but they're just really really pretty um, these ones I absolutely love they're like a statement piece um, they've got like sequined and like um, like spikes on it which is really nice and it's really clear um, it just looked really nice on but I don't wear high heels anymore and these pair as well from Tony Bianco I got these because I had like a $30 voucher for my birthday so I thought I'll get these but they are extremely high and very skinny stilettos as well and I could barely walk in them like I don't think I've actually worn these out properly because they're so ridiculously high I love them because they're really simple and like a really nice statement piece on it as well but uh, I just don't wear them um, these pair as well, so I think I've mentioned in a lot of videos that I hate wearing um, lace shoes and a lot of them I've actually super glued. These are from Sports Girl. Surprisingly, I actually like Sports Girl shoes. I find them very comfortable. Um, but these ones I've had for years and they served a purpose then, but I just don't wear them anymore and they look a bit worn out. So I probably um, throw these out because I don't know if people appreciate super glued shoes. But another one from um, Sports Girl that I loved, 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 and I'm donating or selling uh, these pairs I seriously when I saw this in a magazine I was eyeing and trying to find these hunting them for a good like three or four months and when I saw them in store 
I jumped on board and purchased it. They're just really nice. I love structural shoes. Like, I love the structure when it's like perfect portioning and um, symmetrical. I just love those. So these at the time were my favorite. Literally, like it wasn't even out yet. It was like in some catalog and I waited forever to get these. But I don't wear these. I haven't worn these in like five, six years. So they're all going. Um, I've got a couple of pair of Jeffrey Campbells. Um, I was obsessed about them at one time, but now that I think about it, they just don't suit me anymore. Um, my taste has definitely changed. These are my first. These are, I think, the Lola or Lolita boots that I was crazy about. I purchased these from um, Urban Outfitters, and when I got them, I loved them, but because it's like a weave kind of material, it's kind of slightly big on me um, and they're extremely high. Like they were comfortable, but that is a lot of height for, even for me, I kind of felt a bit unbalanced to wearing them. And I also bought these pair um, because they were super cute and they were actually only $25. Um, but I've never actually, worn, I think it was more, I try to find reasons to buy it because they are slightly, they were slightly big on me. So I try to make it smaller and actually pull added little ribbons to it just to kind of tighten it. But I never actually wore it. And I think actually one side is a bit lighter than the other. So it was definitely a regretful purchase, but I've kept it. And only because I felt bad for buying it and also fixing it up, but it's gonna go. So I'm getting rid of that. And these pair as well, these are a pair of Nicholas suede heels that I absolutely loved. I think I got these for sale and they're like $150. It was an impulse buy and I loved the whole chrome as well as the suede. I literally wore it once and it killed my feet so bad. So I've never worn them again, um, which is a shame because they're still, they still look really nice. But yeah, maybe someone else, you know, it may fit purpose for someone else, especially if they're in their early 20s and like to go out. Um, these pair as well were actually my wedding shoes. Yes, I went all out in like bling, bling, bling. Um, these are from Peep Show. I love these because my color theme was kind of like a purple because it was in spring, start of spring. So I love these because I also had like a purple sole to it as well. Um, and they fit perfectly, but they did kill my feet. Um, I did have trouble walking on the day, so I am getting rid of these. I mean, I guess I could keep it because they are, you know, sentimental. But for me, my wedding as much as... Um, I loved planning it and I think it turned out really well. It's kind of a mixed feeling, like I'm glad that it was over. So I have no meaning for this and you know, I probably won't wear it again because it is so blingy. So I am gonna sell these as well. And also these two pairs of heels, I used to, I was obsessed with these considering how high these were. They were actually surprisingly super comfy and they had like these little um, gems on it, which actually came off a couple of times because I loved it so much. I tried to super glue it back and everything. And um, they looked really nice on, but because I don't wear heels this high anymore, I am getting rid of these ones. And also these ones, I can probably actually still... Like these were used to be my go-to because they're platform wedges. They're really comfy. Um... And I got these at one of my first fashion shows that I went to. But I don't wear these anymore either. So I think it's time to let that go. And how can I get the last one? Uh, my Ugg boots. So I went through, I think it was like the 2000, 2003, that early stage. The whole, you know, Paris Hilton, Nicky Richie, um, Simple Life stage. It was all about Ugg boots and mini skirts. I know the fashion there was crazy, but I was obsessed with Ugg boots. I had like about five or six of them. I ended up getting rid of it and I kept this one because these were the most comfortable. But I also haven't worn these in like six years. So it's time to also get rid of these. Oh, the sun's so bright. So I've just cleared up all of the shoes. Um, I've just boxed up all the ones that I want to sell so I can go through it, take pictures, price them. Um, I am going to the market soon with some girlfriends to sell some stuff. So I'm hopefully get rid of those, put some online, just do what I have to do to, um, you know, it'd be good just to make a little bit of money off her so um, I can save it for something better. But I've also just cleared up. So the ones that I've kept, I divided into. So I've got um, my wardrobe room as well as um, the shoe closet downstairs under the stairs. 
So I packed that away. So now I'm about to do my bags. Um, I think bags are something that I'm going to be having the hardest time doing. Um, but I'll show you my stuff because I have quite a big uh, a range of collections. So these are all the bags that I currently have. I have cleared it out previously, gotten rid of most of um, like the chain store ones that I don't use. Um, you can tell exactly like from... Like, I love, like, vintage bags. I went through an obsession stage with, like, all these vintage bags. I had, like, a huge amount. I think about five years ago I was obsessed with them. I ended up selling most of it on eBay, but these are the ones that I love that I kept. Um, I've got some Oriton and Mimco. I went through an obsession with that stage as well when I started buying more expensive brands. A um, couple of uh, Glow Mesh ones. I was also obsessed with those, so I've got a couple of those here and there. And then I've got all my, like, designer bags bags and more vintage bags and just a couple of bags here and there and that's more like gym bags and backpacks so I'm going to go through and clear these out okay so that was actually a lot quicker than I thought it only took like a couple of minutes to sort it out um I think because most of these bags I barely use anymore in this as well so I've categorized it into three categories this is a pile that i'm going to keep um these ones i just need a little bit more um of a moment with it to see whether it still gives me sparkle or purpose and this is a pile that i'm going to sell or donate just to go through some stuff that i am planning to sell um the first one is my louis vuitton um, Eva Clutch. Um, for me, I, it was kind of like a spare of the moment buy when I purchased it because I really liked it but I don't use it as enough um, or I hardly use it and I find it now when I do um, search on the Louis, the LV website, I gravitate more towards like the Felici or the pouch, like more of a rectangular rather than kind of this like um, trampeze kind of shape. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see how I go. Um, I don't think I will feel guilty or sad if it's not in my collection, if it's there. Um, I may still use it once in a while, but I think if I can sell it and get some money back, I might go towards something else that I do really like. Um, this one um, is a vintage glow mesh. I'm not sure if it's glow mesh. It's probably something else, but this one actually belonged to my mum. So I've kept this. Um, I remember when I was young, I used to look at this all the time. And then when I started going through my vintage bag glow mesh obsession, I took this off her. Um, I Obviously, it's sentimental. Um, it's still perfectly fine. And I absolutely love... I love bags how, you know, they they fit they um, versatile they have so many options on wearing it and I love the strap the strap length I think it's really good but I don't use it so as much as I want to keep it because it is kind of sentimental it's my mum's I don't think she's gonna notice I don't think she even knows I have this um, but I don't use it so that's going another thing as well are these Michael Kaur bags I bought this on my honeymoon um, when I went to Hawaii I loved it at the time because Michael Kors didn't have any it wasn't as popular in Australia I think they just started but now that there's like so many Michael Kors here and there that they've even got stores here I don't um, like Michael Kors as much I think you know everyone has it and um, I only use this couple couple of times but for some reason the strap things once in a while always comes off um, but yeah so I think it's a really nice size like it's a great everyday kind of just like a quick you know if you're going out need your wallet your phone and your um, keys it's a perfect size for it but I don't use it the fact that it is Michael Kors and I don't really um, and it doesn't give me spark anymore when I think of the brand and the fact that the straps keep coming up. So this is going to sell. I'm selling a lot of, um, like most of my vintage, a lot of vintage actually. Um, obviously because I don't, actually not a lot, but like, you know, most of it. But I'm also getting rid of some Mimco and Oriton stuff. So these Mimco, I was obsessed with Mimco at the time. But now I feel like there is a thing of too much bags. And if you don't use it, you know, they all look quite similar. So I'm going to get rid of them all. Um, and also Oriton as well. I still love Oriton um, a lot. Um, I remember when, you know, these were expensive for us, for me especially, and Oriton was a thing. But now I feel like because we're getting more international brands, um, 
it's kind of getting lost in that. So I used to love this as well. For me, this was like my designer bag back in the days. But I don't use it anymore. So I, don't know, I can probably use it as like a traveling wallet, but I don't really travel a lot anyway. So these are all going to sell. Um, some stuff that I am going to rethink about. So this um, Alexander Wang bag, the um, Rocco, I absolutely love this bag. I got such a good deal on it. The only reason why I'm considering selling it is because it is actually really, really heavy. Um, I think that now that I'm getting older, I am downsizing my size of the bags and I find this quite big and very heavy. Like there's nothing in it and it weighs like probably like three, two, three kilos right now. Um, but I, I mean, it was really hard trying to find this like actual color. This bag is like, this was my first, this bag was like my first love, like Mimco love. Uh, my first bag that I bought was a Mimco red bag, which I actually gave it to my mum um, because she really liked it. But this was actually the one that started my Mimco face. This was like the original kind of tote bag. Um, I still love it looking at it, but I never used it. I never use it so I'm not sure whether I'll still want to keep it because it's quite sentimental and it's really nice as well so I might still keep this um, I know some of these stuff you should really keep it if you're gonna use it but it does give me sparkle even if I don't use it so I love the um, contrast between the linen um, kind of like cotton fabric and also the um, leather as well which is really nice and this Oraton piece it's just, I don't know, the whole thing looks really nice, proportioned and everything, but there's no, I guess, um, zip or anything, so it's really quite open and it's not really my style. I don't know whether I should keep it when I'm slightly older. I may, it may come in handy. Like, it's not, I thought, you know, maybe I could use it as like a lunch bag, but I'm not gonna really, I don't know, this is a bit much for a lunch bag, but. So that is all my bags, I guess. So now that I have all the shoes and bags out of the way, cleared and stored, um, I should go through these, which should be pretty easy because most of these are just scarves, undies, socks, swimwear, um, belts, and all that kind of stuff. So it's starting to get dark, and I've gone down from one, two, three, four, five boxes to three boxes. Um, these are part of the wardrobe, so that's just like knickers, bras, and socks. Um, and I've got all these stuff that I'm going to throw away. Hygiene reasons, can't donate, um, except for the scarves and maybe some bras because they're still brand new. So all that's left is my jewelry. So my jewelry is actually quite small. I've actually cleaned out most of it. So jewelry sorted. These are all the stuff that I am trying to sell or um, donate. Uh, pretty much emptied like a whole drawer and like probably if I move those up there, like I have two plain drawers. Um, got rid of a lot of accessories. I don't actually wear much accessories nowadays. So um, yeah, it's been a while since I've worn them. Most of them... Um, I've worn previously but now like I have a lot of like headpieces for example for like the racing carnival um I made these ones one year which is really nice but I haven't worn this like it was a one-time thing and I have no occasion to really wear them again um these watches I was obsessed with watches and I think they look really nice but I actually don't wear watches anymore so I only wear the Daniel Wellington ones and apart from that like this one is a Michael Kors one that I spent like hundreds of dollars on i got this before um it really became a thing in australia the trouble i had to get this i had to do like a chat order and it cost me like 550 dollars, which at that time i felt like was a lot of money for a watch and because it's ceramic um i found it really hard to get it resized because not a lot of places um did that and all these watches as well so i have no purpose i don't wear them anymore um a lot of stuff i got from my wedding as well like little jewelry which i am going to um sell like th some of them are like pretty not that like nice or it's definitely not me in my opinion um, i feel really bad because obviously it was a wedding gift but to be honest like most of that stuff um most of the stuff, like, I, it's not me anyway, um, or it doesn't really have much meaning because it's not like we really see these people again. So, 
yeah so that's all the stuff so this is what i've got left i've kept most of the sunnies because i wear them anyway so i'm a prescription but yeah so I just want to quickly show you, I've started putting things back as well. So this is my side of the room. Ignore the mess on the other side, but everything is actually looking a lot neater. This used to be packed. I had stuff everywhere, stuff outside as well. So I've managed to, I even have a few room left as well to put more stuff in. Um, so, so far it's looking a lot more neater. So that is the cleaning for today. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way things turned out. Um, it wasn't too bad actually um, I do feel a lot better knowing especially my wardrobe room as well knowing that it's a lot more cleaner it doesn't look as cluttered all I need is count to do here stuff now and everything will be okay um, let me know if you want me to do a haul um, to show you some of the stuff as well now that's a lot cleaner I feel like that's more of a possibility um, a lot of these stuff so all I need to do now is really just go through and try and sell it online um, like I said my girlfriends and I are going to the market in the next few week so hopefully I can get some there and sold as well a lot of stuff for example like scarves and um like hats and all those stuff I might actually donate it to charity I'm thinking instead of donating donating to like salvation armies and things like that um, I want to look for direct like homeless charities that can go directly to people rather than you know reselling it um especially because it's cold right now as well but let me know um what you think of this video give me a thumbs up if you liked it or if it's inspired you to clean out yours as well um, but yeah until next time thanks for watching bye